Today I'm going to teach you how to edit pages in WordPress variant page builder. So if you have a theme like stack or pillar or if you use Tommy Rodas HTML themes, you will probably use variant. So when a page is in variant, it first has to be published before you can edit it. So make sure and publish your page. And then if you are editing a page and you have multiple visual page builders or something to that effect, you'll get this black box that prevents you from editing the page in any way other than variant. So you'll see here there's a call to action to send you to variant. You click on that and your new page will load. And you can see when this goes through that variant is completely visual. So you can add blocks here on the left if you prefer, just press plus, and you can go ahead and see that get added to the bottom. And then you can change the settings on this box. For example, if you want a bigger or smaller margin, if you want your text aligned differently, if you want to get a view of or see how, when it's visible and when it's not, you can also change the background color. You can flip the layout and if you're using a third-party integration like Twitter or Google Maps, you'll have the information there. So let's just, I put this here for fun. Let's practice editing it. So here's the text here. Uh, instead of this, maybe I'll say this person follows and you save your changes. It says text is updated and then you have to save your changes again. So you click Save Page, and then you can view the page in a new tab. And here you can see that the page has been updated. It's this person rather than stack, and we have this whole new module below. Let's say we messed it up, though, and we want, say, perhaps, to delete it entirely. You can go here, and you can name these for later use if you need to. And you can also say, I don't want this at all. So you go here, you click that X next to it. You see again, it's a very simple page. You save the page again. It will say page saved. And then you can view the page in a new tab. You can see here that whole module that we deleted and then saved is gone. I hope that helps you with Variant, and if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments below.